And um, like I said before, how are they receptive to you guys? Um, and, and, and when you do the outreach and you're going back into the office and you say, hey, look, you know, we got this amount of feedback and this is how it relates to the audience. Are, they, are the brands receptive to that? Some are, and you know, honestly, some of them, uh, you know, certain brands like certain, some of these games, like Xbox, for instance, or Microsoft, yeah. or, you know, programmers and uh, the companies like THQ and Ubisoft that have the games come out, you know, they sell themselves. Yeah. They know that they don't really need any feedback. Yeah. They do special events like this to try to reach those consumers that aren't as knowledgeable with yeah. certain products. So over this 48-week program, you know, we're going to go back in the office in December and kind of give them some feedback about all the events that we've done over the year mm -hmm. and kind of give them some pros and cons on what worked and what didn't work. Not to say that they're going to take yeah. but they're going to take all those and use them maybe next year. Yeah. But some of the ideas, I can see them changing just a little bit just to benefit, you know, because you always, you're always looking to reach out to more consumers. And I yeah. think consumer feedback is one of, one of our favorite things. I'm a big fan of destructive criticism. If we're yeah. not, we're not doing something right, we definitely want to make it right Absolutely. come the next year. So what better person to critique that than you yourself, the consumer, yeah, to tell right. us, hey, maybe you guys should try doing this for this event mm -hmm. or try having this game here for this event instead of sticking with this. We had Gears 3 actually in the last two months. Oh, that, really? Yes, on this trailer. Wow. We actually just, tra we just traded everything out Thursday for Forza 4 because Forza 4 hit the market nice. on Thursday. Nice. But Gears 3, I mean, that was one of the biggest launches for Xbox 360 yeah, history. Yeah, and yeah. we had the game actually on here for about two months before it even came out. Wow. So traveling with this and, and taking it to like Comic-Con in mm -hmm. San Diego mm -hmm. and everybody talking about the beta version yeah. and not being able to play it, yeah. it was a huge success for people actually to try the game out. They were mm -hmm. blown away. Nobody even thought we were going to have it there. But they had other stuff inside, and we were set up out in the parking lot. Yeah. But the feedback was awesome. Man. And it was instantaneous. Like, you guys knew you had a hot product on your hands, but still that hands-on ability, people getting their hands-on, that, that that blew everyone away. You can explain to people what it's like, you yeah. know, what the game's about, but until somebody picks up the controller and plays it and experiences it exactly. for themselves, it's a whole nother ball. The same thing there. with video. I can watch tons of video on YouTube, but I'm never going to get that visceral feel of having a controller in my hand and getting that feedback. <laughs> it's exactly what it felt yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also at the same time, I think in a, in, a, in, a, in a very micro way, you're bringing back an arcade feel to events. There was a time where you would go into an arcade and, and this, spend, this, lots. This, spend lots of money and this is what it was. People stuck against the screen, moving their controller. That doesn't exist anymore. Well, now it's sitting on your couch and yeah. playing with your friends or yeah. playing Xbox Live and going online. I'm 35, man, and I'll be honest, when I was a kid, you know, playing Galaga and Street Fighter and uh, Dragon Slayer, which was an old Disney game back in the day, yeah. I mean, a place called Tilt, the mall you could go, which was strictly, well, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, so it was like a little dedicated arcade store in the middle of a mall, and that's where me and all the friends would go on a yeah. Friday set at the movies. Now these kids, I wish they had this when I was a kid. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, to be able to come to these things and play games like this, nah. And I think you guys surprised Comic-Con. I remember last year's wasn't as big as this one, and it was only three days. And now that I see that it, made, it was four days, it's like the impact of just having everything social and, and having it um, 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 tactile for you to hold on to is expanded. Um, you guys plan to be here next year as well? We're hoping so, yeah. yeah. Comic-Cons are a huge success for us because it just lets us reach out to so many different people. And what better event to come to with a genre of anime, comic, and gamers all combined into one. You really can't beat events like this when it comes to video games no, and anime. I mean, you know, you can do your sporting events and things like that, but, you know, when you do sporting events like college football, baseball, um, hockey, you, know, you almost want to stick to the genre of maybe having a sporting game on the trailer. Yeah. But, you know, we've had some great feedback with Forza. We've had a lot of people wish we would have still kept gears. But this trailer has been here since Friday, and I'll be honest with you, man, for the nine hours a day we're here, this thing is nonstop. Wow. I mean, I'm and it almost... it looks fantastic. I mean, the graphics are great. This is the best Forza that came out with out of the four. Uh, after we're done doing the little interview, I'd like you to go in and actually check Absolutely. it out and kind of get a feel for it yourself as well. Absolutely. So give um, tell everybody who you are and what you do, and... Sign out. My name is uh, Todd Niemeyer from St. Louis, Missouri. Go Cardinals. Uh, in the playoffs, <laughs> hoping to make it to the series. I travel for, uh, you know, Walmart Game Center, uh, you know, trying to promote as many games as I can and get people to go to their website. And if you do not know about it, it has only been out for about nine months now, and it is fantastic. Get exclusive content. Um, they send gift cards with purchase. That's hot. No shipping and handling. They do a lot of trailer downloads. You can actually 
you know, get on the website and actually send emails to some of the uh, programmers and kind of give your feedback oh, really? about the games and kind of ask them why they have certain formats for games and uh, just check it out walmart.com slash game center that's where it's at Thanks or follow lot. us on Facebook and Twitter at facebook and twitter.com slash game center HQ and if you want to know where this beautiful thing's going you can go to walmart.com slash mobile tour and it'll tell you all the cities and dedicated events we're heading to until December 16th. Cool.